Hey everybody, it's Margaret and welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, we're going to do a pick or pass at the bins. What that means is that I'll stop at different items and I will show you how to look it up and decide whether or not it's something that is a good buy to flip on eBay or Etsy. If you're new here, welcome. Go down there and hit that subscribe button so that you're notified if I put out new videos about reselling. And let's get started. So that's a rival dart. My my kids like to play with those. I looked at this like kind of transferred picture on wood and uh, decided it was not going to be worth anything. Even even to look up, I didn't think it would be. And you guys let me know if you see something that I should have stopped at to look up. Um, and let me know because I often will miss things as well. Alright, so this is one of my favorite sections in my Goodwill outlet where I can find glass items for really cheap. Aha, I found an Irish mug. It's got an Irish quote on it. And if I flip it over in just a second, it has a brand. So let me show you my process as far as looking this up and deciding if it is something that is worth me picking up to flip online. So the first search I do is not always on eBay. Because I'm looking for a specific mug, I sometimes will do a Google search. Also, when I do a Google search, I can find out more information about this brand. And it's Irish probably Gaelic Cardinghung. I'm sure I'm saying it way wrong. So I typed in the name and pottery mug and I came up with one that looks really similar to the one that was there. And as you can see, this pulls up uh, things that are, are up for sale on Poshmark, Etsy, eBay, and sometimes other sites as well. And then also I can pull up images. This way, if the item is not on eBay and it's up on a different site, then I have a better chance of finding it. This one looks really similar. I don't think it's exactly the same, uh, but that's okay. Okay, so then the next thing I do is I do go to eBay and I find the mug that I'm looking for in the sold listings here. I'm pretty sure this is the same one. Let me click off of sold. So what I do is I type in the name of the mug pottery mug and then I scroll through and see what's up for sale. So as you can see some of their mugs are worth more than others. Uh, I would not, I mean for me selling four mugs for ten bucks I mean that might be a stretch I'd probably break those apart but that's just personal preference. But as you can see there are some that are lower priced, some that are higher priced. So I don't, uh, I know this may be controversial. I get comments about it. You know, you can't really go off of, you know, what's up for sale. And I, I get that that's some people's business model and the way they do it. But I don't always, I mean, these are just other people making up prices just like me, right? Um, so sometimes when I'm looking at what's up for sale and what's sold, I have to take that into account. So the next thing I do is I come over to the side um, to the left side and it says click sold so I click sold now as you may see there's only one that has sold with my exact title right and it sold in November so it's been a little while ago and it sold for ten dollars thirteen sixty five shipping okay that's a lot I, I charge about eight bucks now as I scroll down these are results with fewer words so it might be the brand but just didn't say pottery mug or something like that. So let me zoom back up. Let me take out pottery and see if we have any better results. No. Okay, so based on that knowledge that the, the mugs aren't selling for that much, there's a few of them up, there's not a lot sold and it's been a little while, this might be one that would be okay to leave behind. I didn't. I got it <laughs> because I was buying things at the Goodwill outlet and I can get 20 items for a buck 99. So if it was something I was looking at maybe at Savers and they wanted a dollar for it or a buck 50, this might be one because of that only having one sold over there and because the prices aren't that high, I probably would not have paid more than I did at the bins. So maybe if it was a quarter or 50 cents, okay, maybe. But a, more than that, definitely no. Tell me what you think. All right, here we go again. Hawaii mug, I didn't look at that one. The Chevrolet mug is one that maybe I should have taken a, a second look at. 
Christmas mug. I miss stuff all the time too, so y'all feel, I know I already said that, but if you see something that you're thinking, wah, I love the little owls, however, I feel like, well, well, there was only one of them, and then the mate wasn't, well, the mate wasn't there, and it was Threshold, which I think is a Target brand. I looked this one up, I didn't do it on the camera, but, but I looked it up later, the Quilt Festival mug, there were like none up there. That's one that I kind of wish I'd looked up better or gotten, I don't know that I even got it, um, but I didn't stop on that one. It was cute with that cow. That one, no. Aha, cats. Now this is a winner. So these are really cute little cats and cat sell. So let's look this one up. The brand on this one was called Room Creative. Cat Town Mug is what I put in. And 2008 because that was another bit of information that was there. And as you can see, this is what I'm talking about when I say we're just we're all just people making up our own prices, right? So there's $5 with $6.50 shipping, $17.99 free shipping. Right, okay. Um, results with fewer words. Here's one, 17 bucks, 22.49. Okay, so there's that. $33. The, so the prices are kind of all over the place on, with this mug. So let's come over and take a look at sold items. This one is on eBay. And zero sold items. So here's what I wanna do. I wanna go back, and I'm seeing that there are only two that have all of the words that I've used. But I want to come down here because this one set, you know, results with fewer matching words. Maybe the ones that sold didn't have all my same exact words. Or maybe it just didn't sell at all. So I'm just going to put Cat Town Mug and then search that. All right, we're doing a little better there. And let's go look at sold items. I might take that year out of there. See, so yes, still no, no matches. Let me take the year out, and no. Oh, look at those. Those are cute. <laughs> um, so I'm going to scroll down results with fewer words, and I could have done that on the other one, but all right. So let me scroll back, and as I'm scrolling down, you know, with still having the date on there from the last search, I see some that are similar, but not exactly the same, and then other random stuff that doesn't apply. Let me th flip back one more time. These are not sold, though. So. Okay, so if I'm looking at this mug, and I'm, again, at the regular thrift store, and it's a buck fifty, I might second-guess myself on this, because this would have been a, a no-brainer pickup for me, because it's cats, it's colorful, um, and I really thought it would have been one that we would have found would sell better, but I see a lot up, not a lot, a lot, but I see a number of them up that aren't selling. So here's my, here's my two things. One, uh, either don't get it or two, think of another way to title this mug because in their titles and what I searched was what was on the bottom of the mug. But n I mean, how many people are going to be searching for room creative? you know, cat town. And even though that's what I put in the search, but if I'm looking for a, a cat mug, a colorful cat mug, or a different cat breeds mug, that might be a better way to write this title. So if I, if I convince myself, obviously look at what I'm doing, I'm convincing myself, I'm going to get this mug, I'm going to challenge myself to come up with a better title. Because what's being used in the title is not getting this mug found for the buyer. And that's what you have to think about. You've got to think about Who's going to buy this mug? Is it somebody who co collects room creative brand stuff? Probably not. It's going to be a cat lady. It's going to be someone who loves kitties or kittens or colorful cats, rainbow cats. There's so many different words that could be used here to get this mug found. And so, uh, yeah, I think that would be the way to go to try to get that mug sold because I think this mug would sell. I just think maybe we need to be a little more creative with the titles. And I'm not picking on anybody here because that's exactly what I searched for. So there you have it. There you have it. All right, let's dive back in. That was a cool looking mug. Oh, big crack, Never mind. And I, yeah, I've tried Kahlua. This was a pretty mug, but I didn't think it was going to be a good seller. Oxford University, that might have been one. Washerbach. Wash your back. I always say this one wrong, and y'all can correct me, and that's cool. But I have never seen one with that logo before, so I go ahead and get that because that's one of my Get It brands. I didn't stop 
to show you guys that one apparently because I thought I did. But anyway, Washerbach. I don't think that one's going to be the best pickup because it's one that came in a set. But I love that lime green. I'll just keep it myself. Now here, this is the Washerbach brand that I know. Look, there's the the way I'm used to it looking. And I'm, I know I'm saying it wrong. Let's go look that one up. All right, just for your listening pleasure, let's see how to pronounce this word. Washerbach. Mm-hmm. Or... Washerbach. So, let's just go with Washerbach. <laughs> uh, because the first one sounded a little bit like Twin Peaks, the guy in the red room or something. Okay, moving on. So, here's the green mug. Let's go ahead and look at it. So, this Washerbach, Washerbach um, green mug, we see a few. Oh, these are sold. Okay, so $12.99 on this one. Look at these bowls. Aren't they magnificent? I would have a hard time selling them. I love that green. Um... Yeah, so there's not a lot of that Washerback mug, and um, I did go ahead and get it, but it's I don't think it's, I mean, I think that $12.99 is an okay flip, especially since I bought the mug for about 10 cents, but as far as, you know, if I bought it for any more than that a dollar or so, I don't know, that's still a good flip. Come on, that's a probably $8 or so flip. Anyway, so uh, let's look just real fast at not sold listings yeah so here's 10 of those lot of four of that mug for $38 or $34 okay look at these fun uh, <laughs> all right so here's the cat one so again Washerbach look I can put it back on there <laughs> Washerbach it might help if I spell it right right um, Germany yellow window cat mug and here's one that sold so I'm looking at sold listings for $19.95 and the buyer paid shipping. Also, I'm no, I look at the date. So it sold January 2nd, which is not that long ago. So cool. And then here's one that was a red one that sold January 27th. So this is selling. It's selling recently. It's not like it sold nine months ago or whatever. Uh, so let's see how many there are still up there. So when I take off sold... It'll reload, and I can see, okay, there's no more of my yellow cat in the window that are up for sale. So that means I can kind of name my price, unless I see it, you know, if I see it on Etsy or something like that. But let me take out yellow just to see if there's a red one up or something. There's these cat lover cats. Yeah, pretty much, that's it. So if somebody wants the mug that I've got with the cat in the window then I would be able to name my price pretty much because there are none that are up there right now. So let's go back to our bins. Diving back in, let's see what other things we find. I was looking at this platter and for some reason I, it must have been chipped or something because I didn't end up getting it. Maybe I was, maybe I thought it was going to be, no, no, there's a chip over there. I see it by the dragonfly. And I do end up getting, well, I'll have to do a haul video later because I get some of these things that I'm not stopping on in this video. Those are some, they were look like eggs, but they were foam or something. That was a pretty cool mug. I don't feel like I gave it enough of a look over. I'm going to pass. What else? Do you guys see anything that I'm definitely missing? That one looked like a maybe. It's a creamer, though. And then this one looks, oh yeah, it's got a, is that a, it looked like a scripture, but then it didn't look like a book I recognized. And that one would have been really cool, the glass mug, only it was like painted on. It wasn't really like in the mug, the glass. So I know I'm going to stop. Aha, here we go. Look at this guy, you guys. So this is one of my, if you see something you haven't seen or it's super rare to find, Darkwing Duck. How often do you find a Darkwing Duck mug? Never. So let's look up that one. All right, so I did a Google search first for Darkwing Duck, and I see a few mugs that are up on eBay, Poshmark, even Amazon. Someone's got it up $42.90. And then there's a, it looks like a picture that someone's got for sale. So let's go ahead and flip over to eBay. I'm going to go ahead and take off sold listings so we can just see how many are up. So Darkwing Duck, I see that there are nine results for Darkwing Duck. And I wonder if I should, it's not, uh, yeah, it's not two words. I was like, maybe I need to have two words. But as you can see, 
up for sale right now. There's one. Is this two of the same mug? Twenty nine ninety four. Here's one for thirty two ninety nine. Here's one for. I mean, look at this shipping. Where's it coming from? Uh, sixty four dollars. Must not be coming from the U S. Or else they've got a mistake. I do it all the time. So here's one nineteen thirty one. So now let's come over. Look at sold listings. And yeah, so it looks like about $25. That one's got free shipping. I do buyer pay shipping. All of these that have sold down here are pretty much free shipping though. Free shipping up there. But it looks like about 20 bucks with or without shipping. Here's one that sold in November. So mm, mediocre long ago, but there are some like this one sold February 11th for 25 bucks. So I think it would be fair to, to price this at about $20, $25 because there are still some up there, but they're they're selling. They A number of them have sold recently. So yeah, and there's not a ton of them. Oh yeah, these are international sellers over here. There's not a ton, ton up. So if you take good pictures, you're, you're going to be a contender. All right, so that'll be a good pickup. All right, so this one's got quite a bit of wear on it. What are we looking at? It's a Coke bottle. And I'm not doing a very good job showing you over here. That one, mm, I feel like it might have been uh, anthropology, but or maybe it's an anthropology look-alike. Maybe I should have looked at it a little bit closer. Looking at some of these plates, sometimes you can find cool plates and platters, but mm, I haven't had the best luck. I have had much better luck with mugs. Ah, here comes one. So this is a quote, Father, someone you look up to, no matter how tall you grow. This is an Odagiri mug, which I would not have pegged as an Odagiri straight off because it's not a typical looking Odagiri. Odagiris are usually a good pickup, so let's look this one up. So here I have searched Odagiri Father mug. It was a tall version, so I see some that are a little bit shorter. So this one is the mug that I found. Someone is selling it for $11 with $11.75 shipping. That's a lot for shipping. I mean, I can sell, I can ship a bigger mug for about eight bucks, but I mean, everybody's got their own deal, right? That's fine. So I see a couple of them. This is this. This looks like the same mug, but it, I don't feel like it's. I feel like this one's not as tall. Maybe it's just the way the picture's done. Let's come over and look at sold items and see if there are any sold. And I don't see any with the exact title. And I'm not seeing any with similar-ish titles. These are way more typical Odagiri style mugs. As I said, the, the style of that mug is not one that would just jump out at you as an Odagiri mug. Like if you saw this owl one or this cat, these one look like typical Odagiri mugs, like this style. Anyway, so... I would say because there are none sold, you could also list it on Etsy. Mm, I would think because of the few that are there, I mean, maybe around Father's Day it would sell better, but eh. um, it might be one that, again, if I were having to pay more than a, if I was paying any a dollar or more, I would definitely leave it behind because it looks like it's going to sit. So if you, you know, it, and I did get it, <laughs> spoiler alert, I got it. Um, so I'm definitely going to have to find a better way to keyword it because like this person did a good job, like Odagiri father, son playing basketball mug. So that would kind of draw in somebody who plays basketball with their father, that kind of thing. Uh, Father's day basketball mug, that kind of thing. Uh, rather than just describing what's the quote on the mug, because that might not be so, what someone's searching for, you know, if they're looking for a Father's Day mug. Okay, let's move on. Let me know your thoughts on those mugs down in the comments section, everybody, and let me know how I did as far as my pick or pass. And make sure you stay tuned and you've hit that subscribe button because I'm going to be coming to you with a haul video from this bins trip where you can see the mugs that I ended up getting plus some of the other breakable items that I picked up when I was here. And I will see you on the next one. Have a really great afternoon, morning, whatever it is for you. Bye!